Good evening, graduates, teachers, staff, parents, family, and friends. My name is Katherine Anderson, principal at Deerfield High School, and it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to Deerfield High School's 2020 annual commencement. This is Deerfield's 58th graduating class, and without a doubt, a class and graduation ceremony that we will never forget. With that in mind, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the unusual circumstances and setting of this graduation ceremony. We should be at Ravinia right now. Graduates, you should be seated next to your peers in homeroom and surrounded by an auditorium full of family, friends, teachers, and staff. We never expected to be celebrating our graduates in our homes. As we are all too well aware, the global pandemic has turned our lives upside down and the impact of this pandemic on each of us is unique, complex, and emotional. For our graduates, I know this has robbed you of the senior year that you had always looked forward to throughout your high school experience. Right before the final quarter of your senior year, you were asked to, or rather forced to, all of a sudden adjust to a new expectation with much uncertainty. Rather than walking into your classroom with your peers and teachers, you now had to find a classroom space within your house and engage in lessons, activities, and projects through the screen of a computer or phone. Rather than decorating lockers or wearing college, military, and other post-secondary apparel, or performing in plays and musical performances, or competing in club and athletic competitions, or enjoying prom, or attending Jam for Justice, or even participating in Senior Skip Day. Yes, I know and accept that one. And so many other culminating moments, you now had to forgo your final moments in high school with your friends by your side. School and your senior year as you know it had been turned upside down. Yet something remarkable happened. Amidst the loss, you and your teachers, counselors, coaches, sponsors, all DHS students and staff, responded in the most extraordinary ways. Students engage in virtual classes. Teachers redesigned lessons overnight. Counselors met virtually with students. Coaches provided virtual workouts. Sponsors created Instagram posts. Bus drivers delivered food and much more. And most importantly, we came together and were there for one another in ways we could have never imagined during this difficult time. And all of you, and all of us have done this under a historically frightening time in our world. You are all students, families, and staff to be commended and celebrated for enduring what has been placed before you. With that said, graduates, as you move on to the next milestone in your life, I hope that when you reflect upon your educational experiences at Deerfield High School, it is not just about loss, but rather all the ways we have come together and the connections you have formed over the past four years. Really, as you carry on through life, reflect upon and embrace the power of connection and coming together. As you know, we yearn for that now more than ever. Birthday parties, weddings, religious and national holidays, concerts, athletic events, dances, each of these is much sweeter when we are surrounded by those we love, and really, even strangers. There is an energy that unites us all when we come together to celebrate, cheer, and have fun. 
So embrace these moments that you can share with others. But connection and coming together can be even more powerful. It can be transformative. By building connections and coming together, we have the ability to collectively address and solve major local, national, and world issues. Remarkably, your class, your generation, is already well on its way and showing the world how we might come together to express concern and demand change for incidents that have happened over your lifetime. Whether that be addressing systemic racism, religious persecution, immigration policies, sexual assault, gender and economic inequalities, climate change, school shootings, and so much more. We know what doesn't work, and that is constantly pointing fingers, refusing to listen to one another, and allowing the abuse and mistreatment of others. Rather, we need to implement the tools and skills we've learned in school, sometimes from a very early age. We need to be kind to one another. We need to stand up for others. We need to listen. We need to share. We need to collaborate. We need to be open-minded. We need to do research and consider the source. And we need to express gratitude and give back. But we cannot do this alone. Rather, we need one another. By building connections and coming together, we can work towards a greater good. And many of you already are through your extraordinary efforts during School Chest, Genocide Commemoration Day, Mental Health Awareness Week, Jam for Justice, and many other volunteer events, activities, both at school and outside of school. As a generation positioned to be the most diverse and well-educated in our national history, there is no doubt in my mind that you will be our change makers. So know that I am so incredibly proud of who you have already become, and my biggest hope is that you continue to embrace the transformative power of connection and coming together. When you have a chance, celebrate and enjoy major milestones and events with family and friends and even strangers, but also remember our obligation to come together to address the things that divide us and cause hurt and pain, because we are truly stronger together. Now, speaking of coming together, while this graduation ceremony is not what we had expected, I am still hopeful that even in a virtual setting, we can still come together to celebrate our graduates in a traditional but unique way. While we may not be able to live stream from each of your homes like the NFL draft, we think we have a very special way of capturing graduation reaction moments in real time. But it will require a little help from you. Graduates, if you haven't already done so, I want to encourage you to wear your caps and gowns while watching the graduation ceremony. Families, I would also like to encourage you to take pictures and videos of your graduate and your family celebrating and watching the ceremony. Then post them on social media with the hashtag DHS Graduation 2020. Our video production company, Bitter Jester Studios, will be making a fun montage of graduation reaction moments that will be shared in the coming weeks after the ceremony. Finally, enjoy this very special evening and look upon each other, as well as those who have traveled these four years with you and realize the significance of what you have just achieved. I wish you all the very best, and I deeply thank everyone who has helped you to get to this very special place. Now, please welcome our student speaker, Maya Harris. The first time I heard a high school graduation speech, I was a freshman, sitting up on that Ravinia stage with the rest of the orchestra after playing Pomp and Circumstance for what felt like 50 hours straight. That year's speaker, a boy whose name I don't remember anymore, compared his high school class to superheroes, with each of them off to save the world in their own unique and special way. His speech was funny and uplifting and full of happiness and hope. And from that moment on, I wondered what my own graduation speech was gonna be about. The very next day, with still a month left of my freshman year, I began a draft. Even though I had not lived through my first full year of high school yet, I knew I'd talk about how much the years I spent here and the people I met meant to me. Just like every graduation speech I'd seen in all those cliche teen movies. The speech I began writing my freshman year was light and funny, filled with way too many jokes about how the class of 2020 had a perfect vision for an amazing future we'd enjoy after the best senior year ever. Then the world around us changed overnight 
and our senior year came to an all-too-abrupt end. Whatever this speech was meant to be took a turn on March 12th, and I scrapped my four-year-old drafts. This isn't the senior year we've been dreaming about for years. This is not the graduation we've planned. This isn't Ravinia, June 2nd, 2020. And it's easy to let that bring us down, because the truth is, we've lost a lot. It's not just prom or graduation, but those small rites of passage too. Ditch day was rendered pointless. Any ability to pull a senior prank evaporated. No jam for justice, no spring musical, no senior wills. We miss decorating our lockers and eating that final lunch at our lunch tables, as well as getting to hug our teachers and friends goodbye. In short, we've lost all the fun and celebratory parts about being a senior. And when all this is finally over, we'll find ourselves already in the next chapter of our lives without ever having properly finished this one. Though we've lost a lot, what's equally true is that we've gained a lot too. In the face of COVID-19, our school and our grade became stronger and more united than ever before. Our teachers didn't crumble or give up or simply say, well, we knew you were gonna get senioritis anyway. No, even when it felt like the world was falling apart, the DHS community was coming together. Teachers showed us how willing they were to help us learn and constantly went the extra mile with Google Meets, Zooms, creating YouTube channels, and emails that always ended with, I'm here for you. If you need to talk, I'm always just an email away. Counselors regularly reached out to us, offering to Zoom if we needed to talk or rant or even just cry. Coaches and club sponsors managed to hold final banquets online, refusing to let the pandemic steal away the final moments of their seniors last season. My English teacher continued to send my entire class a voice recording of him reading a poem of the day, just like he would do in the classroom. Even while social distancing with nothing but her Chromebooks that have visited the tech office far too many times, DHS stood strong and united. We might have been ready to mentally check out, but the faculty has given us one final lesson in compassion, love, and support that will stick with us long after we've forgotten the names of the enlightened despots in Europe or what a natural log graph looks like. These are the very lessons we needed now more than ever before. But it wasn't just the faculty that reached out and came together. We, the DHS class of 2020, also came together. We decided we would not let a global pandemic take us down. Even after four years of bonding over test stress, heart rate days, and the arc doors, the past few months have made us closer and stronger than ever before. In the face of fear and uncertainty, we didn't crumble but came together. Fortifying ourselves in a way most senior classes never get the opportunity to do. Being members of a generation constantly told by social scientists, we will forever struggle to make interpersonal connections. And being told by our parents and grandparents to get off your phones. We have formed an iron strong community, saved by the very technology we were told would destroy us. We texted and we called and we FaceTimed. And when that wasn't enough, we stood on opposite sides of the street in order to connect with one another. We did full class Zooms and whatever stupid social rules we thought defined us went out the window. We might not have had the senior issue of Dear Prince, but we do have over 10 Instagram accounts filled with senior superlatives and a massive spreadsheet to honor all 423 of our plans for next year. And we couldn't live it up with our teachers at the boat party, but we got to see inside their homes and meet their pets. I look at you, the people I've spent the past 720 school days with, and I know that we will forever understand each other in a way no other senior class has. I'm sure we've all lost count of how many people told us they're sorry, lost count of how many times someone tried to come for us by starting a sentence with at least. At least you can work online, at least the weather is nice, at least you're healthy. And while all of that is true, I found it a thousand times more comforting when one of my classmates has simply said to me, yeah, I know, I feel like that too. Whatever our differences, everyone here today has gone through the exact same thing. 
We're all burdened by the same losses. And because of that, we are able to empathize with each other. And that bonds us in a completely unique way. Our senior year has been the ultimate example that there is always good hiding within our challenges and tribulations. Our senior year in COVID-19 proved that we are a community united. That community I dreamed up as a freshman on that Ravinia stage became better and stronger than I ever thought it could be. No matter what curveballs the world decides to throw at us next, when we stand united, we can endure anything. And while our community strengthened, each and every one of us became stronger too. When the world comes back, because yes, this will one day all be over, it will be our world. These past few months have shaped us into the strongest, grittiest, most full of life group of young adults to ever grace the workforce and college campuses with our presence. We will enter college knowing that no test can scare us, no project can daunt us, and no load of laundry will send us running away. World, stand back because here we come. Hungry for life with the community back home and spread around the country. Always ready to support us. If these past four years and past three months have taught me anything, it is that nothing can hold us back if we choose to stand together. We will re-enter this new world we are inheriting as new people, stronger and more empathetic than ever before. The future needs to be reimagined and we are the ones to do it. As much as we will forever be defined as the senior class that had their last day of high school online, we will become so much more than that. I have a new vision for our future class of 2020. After existing in this time where there are so many limitations on us living the life that we want, once those quarantine barriers are gone, we'll realize that the only barriers left are the ones we put on ourselves. If we're able to fight senioritis while wearing pajamas in a house we haven't left for two months straight, we can do just about anything. We will go on to office buildings and hospitals and law firms and we will conquer. We will go on to live life knowing the importance of friendship, of mentors, of community. We will say yes more often than no. We won't be afraid to take chances or go outside our comfort zone. We will live in the now because we know that the future we've planned doesn't always happen like we think it will. And the fact that nothing is predictable means everything is possible. COVID-19 might have pulled us back, but from this we're going to launch forward into our glorious future, converting all of our potential energy into action and life. We will re-enter this new limitless world with more hope, more compassion, and more vitality than any generation before us has ever had. Together, we stand on the precipice of a new era filled with unlimited possibilities. And together, we will ascend to new heights.
The senior class gift is a long-standing tradition in which our graduating students join together to pay tribute to their teachers, staff, and fellow students for the extraordinary opportunities they have had at Deerfield High School, while also leaving behind a legacy that will benefit the future of the school. Given the extraordinary circumstances that we are in this year, rather than accepting a gift from the class of 2020, we will instead be presenting one to you. Class of 2020, for your strength and resilience during the global pandemic, we are dedicating the courtyard in your honor. At DHS, the courtyard is a place where students come together to study, listen to music, play catch, relax, or simply enjoy the company of friends. For the class who will always wish they could be with their classmates and friends in person just one last time, you serve as a lasting reminder of the importance of coming together while at Deerfield High School. We hope that when current and future students are able to enjoy the courtyard in the future, that they will remember you, recall your strength and resilience, and embrace every moment in high school when they can enjoy the time spent with classmates and friends, whether that be in the courtyard, classroom, homecoming dance, or other school event. A plaque is now hung at the entrance of the courtyard closest to the blocks, which will serve as a daily reminder to anyone who enters the courtyard of the class of 2020. Class of 2020, you will never be forgotten. At this time, I would like to recognize the outstanding service provided to our students by our retiring staff members. This special group of staff members has impacted the lives of thousands of students during their time at Deerfield High School. They will be remembered fondly by our current students, colleagues, families and alumni for their dedication and commitment to supporting students at Deerfield High School. Whether it be welcoming new students and families to our school, or supporting them in the Dean's Office or Special Education, or designing lessons and labs to explain difficult concepts in physics, these wonderful individuals have truly shaped the DHS that we know today. This year, our retirees are Amy Braun, John Bruss, Marianne Lucente, Diane Riendau, and Marcy Saltzman. To our retirees, we are grateful for your dedication, energy, and passion for lifelong learning. While you may be leaving this year, your impact and influence will always be a part of our DHS culture. You will truly be missed. Next, we will be honoring the recipient of the JFK Medal of Honor. The John F. Kennedy Medal of Honor was initiated by the class of 1964 and began the tradition of honoring a graduating senior who has shown outstanding performance in the area of personal behavior and responsible action. This year, the student chosen to receive the John F. Kennedy Medal of Honor is a respected member of the class who enjoys singing, golf, volunteering, and public speaking to name a few. She is also on a mission to educate the world on privacy and cybersecurity, while also empowering girls to engage in the STEM fields. In fact, this year's recipient is the founder and CEO of Bits and Bytes Cybersecurity Education that now sustains 20 plus national partnerships with school districts, 
corporations like Facebook and IBM, and educational platforms like Discovery Education, all in efforts to increase awareness and fluency in privacy and cybersecurity. She is also the co-founder and co-director of GirlCon Chicago, Chicago's premier high school tech conference that unites industry professionals and students to discuss bridging the gender gap in tech. Arguably though, one of her greatest accomplishments and strengths is her humble and tenacious attitude. Through these characteristics, she constantly seeks opportunities to work collaboratively with others and grow as a learner and leader, all in an effort to teach and support others. Without further ado, this year's JFK recipient is Kyla Guru. Congratulations, Kyla. We're very proud of you. At DHS, we are honored to acknowledge students who have achieved outstanding accomplishments through a multitude of pathways. The following awards recognize students for academic accomplishments. I am proud to announce the valedictorians from the class of 2020. Maya Guerin. Jack Glazer. Annika Hooperkar. Hallie Mangerton. Avanti Park. Callie Sarek. I am also proud to announce the salutatorians from the class of 2020. Tess Bayless. Sawyer Fleischman. Kyla Guru. Jeremy Liu. Abby Miller. Campbell Sachs. Jasmine Tang. The Deerfield Scholars have earned the highest achievement in our academic grading system. I am proud to announce the Deerfield Scholars from the class of 2020. to the distinguished members of the Board of Education and Board President Elizabeth Garlovsky. I hereby acknowledge that the members of the class of 2020 as listed in the program have successfully completed the graduation requirements of the Illinois State Board of Education and of the Township District 113 Board of Education and are eligible to receive the Deerfield High School Diploma. Usually, we ask people to hold their applause as names are being read so all names can be heard. This year, we encourage you all to cheer and clap as loud and as long as you would like as each graduate's name is read. On behalf of the entire Board of Education, I accept your certification of the Class of 2020. One of the most cherished responsibilities and greatest honors of a board member is to give diplomas to seniors as their names are read at graduation. This year, while the board cannot physically participate in this tradition, we are more honored than ever to confer this class with their degrees to commemorate their truly remarkable accomplishments. The resilience and perseverance demonstrated by this class is a testament to their strength and a sign of the incredible success we know their future holds. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. The Board of Education and everyone at District 113, especially your teachers, 
along with your families, friends, and loved ones are so proud of you. The Homeroom of Miss Acres. Grace, Adrian, Alex. Olivia, Rose, Alaprandi. Jessica, Ruby, Allen. Joseph, Covington, Ariano. Max, Ryan, Bass. Tyler, Jacob, Baum. Dylan, Jed, Bazaar. Jason, Vaughn, Dahlberg. John, Alexander, Davidson. Eli, Harrison, Feinberg. Leah, Ashley, Fry. Kaylee, Ruth, Gross. Isabella, Anana, Guzek. Lexi, Bell, Holton. Ariel, Jenna, Lewis. Matthew, Mahed, Murad. Ryan, Frederick, Nagelbach. The homeroom of Mr. Bassley, Alexander, Charles, Burmeister. Connor, James, Daly. Olivia, Lauren, Engerman. Sophia, Fakori. Alana, Ruth, Glickman. Terry, Nathan, Goldberg. Talia Sky Gurovitz. Jack Henry Hammondry. Lucas Emery Hammondry. Howard William Jones. Kaylee A. Cooperman. Daniel Mitchell Koifman. Benjamin Ross Kramer. Matthew Alexander Crozier. Lillian Grace Mansfield. Sahana McAllister. Ben Wang. Allison Mays Wilcoff. The homeroom of Mr. Bruss and Miss Riendo. Mac Robert Cooley. Madeline Rose Fisher. George Daniel Gill. Kyla Akshara Guru. Annika Sajel Hooperkar. Helen Ilkew. Kayla Eliza Kriegel. Hannah Elizabeth Krugman. Anna Chloe Kerzidlo. Eric Michael Laporte. Joshua David Levin. Jasmine Bessie Levy. Frederick George Lewis. Charles Patrick McKinney. Edie Silver Schwartz. Nicholas John Weimuller. The Homeroom of Mr. Citron. Andrew Samuel Vancouver. Pauline Covellis. David Jacob Dolgan. Claire 
Josephine Duggan. Olivia Grace Figura. Jake C. Henry Hudek. Mia Elizabeth McCullough. Allison Sue Moy. Mark Matthew Pedersen. Misael Reyes. Caleb Aaron Sachs. Rick Song. Eli Daniel Spector. Zachary Samuel Willens. Nicholas David Wolf. The Homeroom of Mr. Crane. Matthew Allen Brown. Maeve Ellen Butler. Aaron Abraham Cole. Jack Allen Cornell. Jonah Aaron Friedman. Cassidy Nicole Hanna. Noah Matthew Hogberg. Abby Sophia Horwitz. Jaren Truth Shea. Joshua George Strickland. Samuel Brennan Toback. Victoria Virginia Vena. Margaret Marie Weiner. Mary Ruth Wesselhoff. Brooke Amber Wheatley. Jonah Duran Winter. Gigi Juan Ziyik. The Homeroom of Miss Curtin. Luke Robert Boyle. David Benjamin Brostoff. Wyatt Max Browdy. Rosemary Margaret. Fleming, Kalina Stoyanova Kokacharova, Benjamin Samuel Levin, Liv Amanda Ludwig, Madison Nicole McElligot, Jacob Zachary Nitson, Finnegan Jack. Pressel. Ainsley Marie Tobin. Madeline Joyce Turner. Roman Alex Veronin. Margaret Rose Botsmeyer. Caitlin Rose Wild. Charles Joseph. Wylan Samuel Peyton Yaffe The Homeroom of Miss Doughton and Mr. Forrester Hannah Gail Belmonte Galena Maria Reese Bouillet Elizabeth Juliana Bradford Amanda Riley Crane. Zachary Richard Fishman. Jillian Bame Getter. Alyssa Claire Goldstein. Ashley Rose Kamen. Spencer Kent. Mallory Drew Kaloran. Michael Cott. Joseph Samuel Leonard. 
Brandon Lawrence Lieb. J. Benjamin Metzger. Kobe Alexander Siegel. Charles Ryan Sussman. Alexandra Masai Tiatia. Colin James Ward. The homeroom of Mr. Esger and Miss Esger. Joey Alana Berlians. Caitlin Marie Capozzi. Charlie Braden Chernowski. Paige Lauren Cole. Brody Ross Kriz. Dunford Walker DeLoss. Joshua Nathan Fine. Ariel Morgan Feinberg. McKenna Esther Geek. Katie Rose Goldman. Sydney Joe Goldman. Antonio Sargon Michaels. Abby Emily Miller. Artemis Pastios. Cole Alexander Woodson. Joseph Michael Yano. Robert Joseph Yastro. The homeroom of Miss Kaplan and Miss Weiss. Alexa Jordan Abramovich. Grace Danstrom Badley. Mason David Basile. Brandon Jacob Flyman. Adam Jeffrey Bornstein. Craig Patrick Bauslog. Caitlin Reagan Demotica. Jared Grant Furston. Marley Becca Braden. Brooke Anna Jackson. Jada Corinne Muldrow. Matthew Philip Newman. Avanti Ajay Parquet. Jeremy Scott Plavsky. Hannah Jordan Rossick. Sydney Bela Rothenberg. Ashita Arunima Suna. Ian Paul Vanninen. The homeroom of Mr. Kaufman and Miss Malenga. Lane Samantha Farber. Matthew Joseph Gauza. Bradley Matthew Gottlieb. Morgan Stephanie Gertz. Maya Susanna Harris. Grant David Hines. Adam Herbert Hirsch. Tetsuya Theodore Io. Timothy Luis Mostacero. Samuel Joseph Paley. Adam James Pottinger. Benjamin Matthew Rosen. Stephanie Brooke Schwartz. Alexa Victoria Siegel. Ariel Davi Silverman. Kevin Christian Trigel. Bailey 
Ann Yellen. Madison Evelyn Zuckerman. The Homeroom of Miss Margus and Miss Sager. Nathan Calderon. Kamal Francis Dumian. Grant Alexander Fisher. Jacob Eric Feldheim. Stephen Michael Flaxman. Asher B. Horwitz. Charles Andrew Shu. Joseph Samuel Cruz. Brianna Wendy Lewis. Alexis Rose Lertzman. Caitlin Rose Metz. Lucy Madeline Rudnick. Mallory Reese Sawyer. Rachel Ann Schaefer. Allison Paige Schomberger. Avery Morgan Sherwood. Shelby Beatrice Glare. The Homeroom of Ms. Martin and Ms. Sadowski. Haley Jessica Abramovich. Bradley Thomas McAvoy. Abigail Quinn McLean. Zachary James Meddy. Camden Dietrich Michelle. Seth Logan Miller. Joey Michelle Platt. Micah Isaac Plofsky. Jenna Grace Ritzard. Skylar Helena Rosenthal. Shaley Faye Roth. Stephen William Sampson. Rosalind Melamed Schatz. Jason John Sexauer. Corey Ian Siegel. Emily Samantha Slutsky. Emma Leah Velkmi. Alexa Barry Wardy. Benjamin Irving Zuckerman. The Homeroom of Mr. Muldrow. William Joseph Agins. William Joseph Bitterman. Anthony Joseph Blangiardo. Madeline Danielle Blumberg. Taylor Abby Chaikin. Nicholas Christopher Compizzi. Samantha Alex Feldman. Emily Hannah Finch. Jack Harrison Glazer. Hannah Mary Greenfield. Charlotte May Larson. Zoe Ray Lazar. Leah Jordan Levin. Evan Grant Orloff. Camden Reed Sabbath. Leaf Rain Sigmund III. The Homeroom of Mr. Pector and Miss Settles. Casey Ann Bichelia. Brian S. Fogel. Carly Bella K. 
Jason Lynn. Troy Edwin Mock Jr. Emma Julia Morgan. Maya Mahed Murad. Rebecca Lily Radis. Dylan Parker Rosenblum. Campbell Blair Sachs. Charles Ross Sampson. Joseph Isaac Shapiro. Jacob Lewis Slutsky. Jesse Mark Stolberg. Benjamin Henry Taxman. Jacqueline Lily Trachtenberg. Scarlett Emma Wolk. Lily Madeline Zuber. The Homeroom of Miss Plata and Mr. O'Malley. Benjamin Dean Aronson. Maya L. Channon. Lauren Rebecca Caldwell. Brady Davis Dage. Brooke Morgan DeMaio. Gabrielle Shana Donenberg. Sabrina Dordovic. Lauren Rose Edelmuth. Savannah Lynn Jackson. Trevor Garrett Just. Sydney Morgan Kaplan. Nicholas George Kelly. Libby Bella Krensky. Matthias Walter Kowalik. Maxwell Harrison Pollock. Will Earl Shore. Benjamin Nathan Wallace. Jessica Kelly Walsh. The Homeroom of Dr. Platten. Hannah Elise Breen. Julia Fairman Finnegan. Kayla Maria Guxel. Benjamin Jackson Cummel. Jack Owen Mayo. Caitlin Elizabeth McCarthy. Ellery James Shell. Olivia Marie Deverman Vanny. The Homeroom of Miss Quagliana, Miss Antonacos, and Miss Dunnitzer. Liza Bell Blumen. Sophie Inger Santazo. Cassandra Page Cokefair. Haley Alana Cooper. Christian Gabriel Hole. Eli Samuel Cobb. Alexander Martin Kogan. Vilma Isabella Cowles. Alexandra K. Libman. Jeremy Chasing Lu. Kevin Scott Marshall. Bailey A. Martin. Caitlin Elizabeth McCartney. Shane Christopher Miller. Griffin Henry LaCourt Minster. Stephen James Nagy. 
Theodore Mason Nye. Benjamin Mark Resnick. Maya Backman. The Homeroom of Mr. Regan. Megan Catherine Bergen. Joshua Blake Garland. Scott Alexander Goldman. Christina Gray Jolly. Elizabeth Victoria Kalis. Benjamin James Katz. Emma Adamandia Kirstein. Tyler Alexander Lois. Logan Anger Masonette. Evelyn May Ruco. Hadley Brooke Shallowitz. Marissa Edith Stanson. Allison Elizabeth Stewart. Manal Elizabeth Vishnoy. Amy Nicole Weiner. The Homeroom of Mr. Rogers. Olivia Esther Aronson. Tess Ann Bayless. Reese Schuyler Belden. Avery Bryn Berger. Carlin J. Burke. Zachary Nathan Blondes. Aaron Elizabeth Frank. Sarah Isabel Gertz. Meryl Catherine Getty. Ellie Ginsberg. Abigail Lauren Goldberg. Zachary Brett Goldstein. Carson James Hanover. Zachary One Kelhart. Ethan Jacob Kasilovich. Daniel Joseph Leggett. Hallie Jordan Mangurton. James Richard Siegel. Jack Harley Sotokoff. The Homeroom of Mr. Schwartz and Mr. Christian. James Paul Bickmore. Zachary Ethan Brieger. Grayson Scholar Clark. Alexander Julius Cohen. Kylie Marie Cooper. Alexander Michael Culver. Shani Michal Dor. Jordan Hannah Eisenberg. Laith Fakori. Sawyer Brooke Fleischman. Talia Michelle Katz. Campbell Elizabeth Kent. Abigail Frances Knaus. Cassandra Ann Knight Walters. Christopher Tyler McCullough. Luis Alberto Romero. Isabel Barry Weiss. Ellie Michelle Winter. The Homeroom of Mr. Smith. Emily Joe Bergman. Gabriel Cardinez. 
Zachary Jordan Columbus. Evo Lauren Davila. Stefan Denick. Carly Abigail Fisher. Sloan Lee Fisher. Jordan Warren Freeman. Maya Allison Guerin. Gabriel Ignacio Gomez. Ryan Christopher Gomez. Cody William Goodman. Emily Jiwan Han. Aaron Weiss Keating. Julia Allison Laporte. Marley Grace Rubin. The homeroom of Miss Tanimoto. Sander Ari Ashman. Grant Everett Balcom. Murphy Ann Jones. Jory Ann Lazarus. Maggie Stevens Loesch. Tina Morgan Melnick. Michael Anthony Parisi. Kelly Christine Sarek. Emma Olivia Sharoni. Liliana Ivana Shapkarov. Orly Sarah Sheffy. William John Smith. Noah Daniel Srulovitz. Clark Patrick Strauss. Jasmine Zoe Tang. The homeroom of Miss Williams and Miss Jiggets. Ty Patrick Hoffman. Hannah Rachel Lesser. Frankie Elizabeth Miller. Holland Todd Obinger. Braden Daniel Offit. Mary Jane Burwell Oaken. Emma Pels. Joseph Randall Preston. Samuel Benjamin Raffleson. Marnie J. Schneider. Matthew Ethan Seltzer. Spencer William Scher. Jamie Paige Salmore. Sarah Grace Steinway. Sophia Rose Ball. Kai Christopher Washington. Dylan Samuel Weiss. Matthew David Dawson. Deirdre Ann Shore. Congratulations to the DHS class of 2020. Please join us in the tradition of switching our tasks from the right side to the left. It gives me great honor to present to you the graduates from the Deerfield High School Class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. We are incredibly proud of you. On behalf of the staff at Deerfield High School, please accept our best wishes to you now and into the future. This now concludes our graduation ceremony. We look forward to seeing you next week to properly present each graduate with their diploma. Congratulations again to the Class of 2020.